Clinton Street. Um, so to pull the comps, we're going to go ahead and go into Matrix. We'll go to Search, Residential, General. Um, we are going to see all the solds that have sold in the past 365 days. Um, we're also going to do a quick search. Let's see, it was 1305 Clinton Street. So I'm going to do a quick Google search to find the square footage. Let's see. So when I do a quick Google search and I pull down I see okay it's 1650 square feet okay and that's okay, it looks like they had tried to list it um, okay so that's the important piece. It's 1,650 square feet. So when I go into matrix, I'm going to say 1,500 through 1,800 uh, square feet just to give me a, a range there. For sale, yes, we don't want any rentals. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and click on map. It's going to say that we have uh, too many in our search criteria. So what we're going to do is jump down to address and type in the address, 1305 South Clinton Street in Baltimore, and locate. Okay, um, so I know this is uh, Highland Town. Oops. So I'm gonna hit the button, and I'm gonna go out. About a half mile since there look like there are a good amount of comps here. Then I'm going to go to results. I'm going to sort by list price because we want to take a look at comps that have, uh, you know, that are low comps as well as high comps. Um, you'll see we're in Canton or in the Brewers Hill area. And actually, looking at that map, I want to see, okay, is this. What is this property? So 1309 Clinton, which is, you know, two houses down, sold for 404 250 You know, it's going to be around the same square footage. It's going to be, okay, with 14000 back, so it sold for around 390 It's going to be the same, yeah, close to the same square footage. Um, you know, brand new renovation. Right, so this would be a good high comp for us to use. Um, so when I go back over to Podio, I'm going to say 1309 South Clinton. I'm going to roll down here to my comps. And it sold for 390k in November of 2014. renovation. So this would be one of my high comps. Um, I then go back and uh, take a look at some of the other comps. I'll click 9, 220. I'm going to go back to results. Okay, and so you know, knowing that that house is probably about the same size, I'm going to look at those other price points and see how uh, how we're doing there. So let's look at this 4149. Okay, again, this one sold for 405 just down the street. Um, almost exactly the same size. Renovated. So okay, so this could be another high comp. Sold for 405 in October. Renovation. 
Okay, so we'll, we'll, and we'd want to do a third comp. And we also want the low comps. Um, in this case, because they did tell us that uh, in this case they told us that it was a t it's a shell totally gutted, so we know that we're starting from scratch. So we want to know how much money we can make on the back end once we do the renovation. We also want to know what other properties that are in similar condition have sold for. So I'm going to go back to the system summary, and that's why I sorted these by price. And I want to look at this. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. And it's a bank property. Let's see, it sold for essentially 178. And yeah, it's pretty much a dump, which is fine. That's what we needed to know. We want to know, okay, so it sold for 178 just up the street. Area is actually a little bit better up there. Um, and that sold in April of 2014. And if we look at you know the next one, so we have one for sale for 220, about the same size, sold for 220 with four back, so it sold for about 216. Eh, it's livable, kind of gross, but livable. Um, yeah, so keywords, investment. <laughs> yeah, so someone could live there, but you'd have to put a lot of money in it. So this could be another one of our low comps. And this sold for 216 in also in April of 2014. Okay, so this will just give us an idea of some of the low and high comps, but what you also want to do is go ahead when you're back on the system summary is click all of these and you're going to email them uh, in this case I'm going to email them to myself and you would also email them to yourself and I just usually you have to have fields in here <coughs> or else it won't send <coughs> that I'm going to go in my my inbox here and then I'm going to copy and paste this link into the comp section of the item that I'm working on because what this enables us to do then is when we go back you know after you've done the comps and we've been alerted we say okay let's go ahead we can go down to the comps click on this and it'll bring us to all of the comps that you've pulled. So you've highlighted a few that you think are important based on you know what you think we can get, what other homes have sold for, but then we can take a look at the big picture to figure out our offer price. Okay, I think that is about it. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.